Hello there. Do you want to look killer for 3000 years? Do you want to go on instant when the trade lies that 89? Then don't know further because you have found the ultimate tactic guide to make you a competitive tank by daylight player. Pirates on a boat. Pirates on a boat. Tyrannosaurus Rex on a boat. When it comes to cheaters, Dead by Daylight is absolutely full of them. Streamers like True Talent. Why would anyone want to watch this unbeatable Swift? Zeb89. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there was a cheater. Play against stream sniping cheaters, and of course they lose their game because of it. I was, that was unrealistically quick, unrealistically. Plus, the Oichi always knew where I was, I loop. If these cheaters didn't exist, they'd win every single game they'd play. <laughs> They are just that good. Cheaters ruin the game and cause you to unfairly lose. If you ever lose a game, think to yourself, did they do the gens too fast because I had deadlock? Well, yes. Yes, they did. They were cheating. God. I hate squads like this! I f***ing hate them! You guys are the worst pieces of f***ing dog shit players on the f***ing planet! Baby, you're a th you are! Using a good survivor main is essential to winning your Dead by Daylight matches. If you load into a match playing Glory, Nia, or Ace, you are absolutely doomed and will lose that match. My recommendation is to main either Michaela, Leon, or Kate, because statistically, those characters escape more often than the others. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, tummy, fummy, lucky gummy bear. Dead by Daylight has an incredibly toxic community. Total losers, man. Toxicity has been around since the start of the game, and not even the developer's Roblox chat filter can stop survivors from telling a basement bubba to have a nice day. Why try to be nice? If the Roblox filter can't beat them, then why not just join them? I don't have to explain Save the Best for Last. This is God's gift to all you Demogorgon players out there, but it also works on every killer in the game. Save the Best for Last grants you a minus 5% stackable cooldown on basic attacks with a maximum of 8 tokens for 40% less cooldown speed. This perk is essential on all killers in the game because it allows you to camp more efficiently, which is a strategy you should always use. If you're wondering what killers you should give it a go on, try Demogorgon, Nurse and Wesker for the best results. Bloodlust is currently the most broken and overtuned mechanic in Dead by Daylight. Just ask any survivor man that definitely knows what they're talking about. This allows players who have been performing poorly a chance to regain an advantage. As the killer, we can use this to get easy downs on any survivor, even if they abuse stretch res. Keep chasing the survivor, not breaking any pallets until you reach Bloodlust 3, and then you will have the easiest down in your entire life on the toxic clicking teabagging survivor. No more losing killer games after implementing this strategy. If you've ever played killer, chances are, is that you've played against a bully squad. These squads usually consist of four flashlight players and there isn't anything you can do against them, unless you channel your inner dead plays. How do you do this? Well, when you load into a match, analyze your situation and what survivors they are playing. If you're on scene, you can check their profiles as well. Be sure to dodge if they have over 200 hours because they are probably comp players with that many hours in the game. If you think these toxic serves are up to no good, Make sure to slap on Lightborn and the more busted add-ons you can get. Turns this 4-man out into a 4k5. 
This trick works every time, so don't be afraid to run light room as much as you'd like to. Have you ever felt frustrated that no one listened to your impeccable Dead by Daylight takes? Well guess what? The Dead by Daylight forum is waiting for you. You can share your experiences with a fellow 100% survivor mains and receive not only criticism from those pesky killer mains, blight players that don't shower, but a chance for the developers to hear your ideas and get reminded they're forever inferior to you. Sign up, log in, and don't hold back, because if you hesitate, you will never reach the epitome of superiority.